ha ha. <laughs> It'll help if I put the mute, uh, unmute. All right, now uh, we're now there. Now we can begin. Let's begin again. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Take two. <laughs> and thanks, friends, for the nonverbal. Hey, uh, not getting anything. Thanks, Janet. <laughs> uh, so welcome, welcome to Meta Monday. Mm -hmm. Is what we were saying. Yeah, <laughs> and not just Meta Monday, but uh, especially uh, acknowledging. Uh, Labor Day today. Yes, I hope it's been labor free for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we're interested in, because it's very American to to work hard, and I think it's wonderful that we have built into our American calendar a, a day to celebrate and luxuriate and yeah. maybe take off mm -hmm. labor. But I also want to uh, drop in the idea, float in the possibility that creating that producing that getting the things that you want don't have to exclusively be done through the mode of hard work but maybe and we've experienced this for a couple decades together can be experienced through with some easy play easy play so, so i think that's what we're all here to do tonight let's do some easy play right <laughs> and, and and wanting to acknowledge too where we are seasonally mm -hmm. on the planet what's happening all we're in the middle of a shift we're in the middle of a transition seasonally getting ready and approaching fall this little time period also called indian summer doyo in traditional chinese medicine translates as literally translates as transitions so we got this space what will we create in this space and how are we creating space for ourselves to create what we most want and enjoy i love that and i just want to add uh what often happens throughout all the fluctuations in the seasons but especially this time of year is that the weather will start getting really nice and mild and cool and then herky-jerky will jump back up and we have that blast that that furnace of heat again and so not only are temperatures fluctuating uh, and has been recorded for thousands of years that this is when temperatures fluctuate but this is also times when tempers fluctuate oh they flare up we get grumpy irritation irrit irritable mm -hmm. frustrated really quickly and then also possibly even feeling sad and depressed so like just going up and down along the spectrum of feelings and emotions so we'll encourage you to ride the waves of fluctuating emotions ride the roller coaster and look for the opportunity Ooh. to see these transitions as easy play instead of hard work well it's also it can throw us off balance right and earth this is the time of the element of earth being expressed and it's an opportunity for us to start to harmonize with the elements of mm -hmm. earth mm -hmm. And some of the harmonizing properties of Earth are the healing colors of the of the Earth, like brown and orange and yellow, yeah. dark greens. These are the healing colors of the Earth element. So you can, if you feel yourself getting off balance or out of sorts or feeling yourself fluctuating in emotions, you can start to maybe get some golden yellow around or put, put some, some new colors earth on. Tones feel feel rooted feel mm -hmm. grounded and let's do some centering practice yeah so and we're going to share some grounding practicing with you also wanted oh, to yeah. share the healing sound for this time oh, of year yeah, yeah, yeah. is the a breathy who who sound so you'll try that on a couple times you can inhale through your nose healing sound of the earth like you're blowing out a candle and in traditional Chinese medicine, the earth element is related to the organ pair meridians of spleen and stomach. So we're harmonizing and bringing more energy to our spleen and stomach that can support this transition, this easy transition. So that can be playful and it can be aligned and a little less shaky and tumultuous. So we can be the, the eye in the storm, right? We can be the, the center in the wheel that's not getting all spun out of control but we can continue to retain our integrity even in the midst of big fluctuations yeah so let's play with this earth element so tonight we've brought to you da, 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 da. Oh, I know, it's funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um some earth and some earth supporting movements some spleen and stomach so let's trace our spleen and stomach meridian mm -hmm. so we start 
uh, just under the eyes, the energy begins here. And we can even, let's begin to tap right mm. over our cheekbones. This is called stomach three in traditional Chinese medicine. Facial beauty points. Very good for <laughs> uh, decongesting, really good for also toning the skin. And a, a nice, up our immune system. Yeah, and a nice way to remember uh, this meridian is that uh, because stomach, of course, uh, has all to do with nourishment. So we see the food, right? Mm. And now let's trace it. And then it goes down, the channel goes down and toward our jaw and we chew the food. Rawr, rawr. And then so the, the channel goes back up into our brain because we think about, oh, how good oh, it is. This stuff is yummy. Yeah. And then uh, would you mind bringing the, the camera down? Yeah. Uh, then we swallow the food. It goes into our belly and then all the way down in line with kind of the front outer legs, uh, rectus femoris, and all the way down the front of our shin and out our second toe. Mm -hmm. So let's let's do a full body trace. I'm gonna step back so we can get a, a head to toe. We're gonna do it like three times. Let's yeah. together. And uh, maybe a little lower so we can oh, see even the lower. feet. Yeah, thank you, Nicole. Yeah. So begin, uh, let's get start with a little tapping. You can see your feet, he Oh, good. All right. <laughs> Feeling grounded. All right, let's and tap again. Remember, remember that. And a purging breath. Yeah, so inhaling through your nose, exhaling with a who breath, a breathy Let's do two more of those. Now, very soothing contact. Brush down your face into your jaw. Mm -hmm. Anytime you want to pause or retrace or soothe the skin, do so, or massage. From the jaw back up into the head, to the mm -hmm. forehead, the temples. Think about, oh, what are you being nourished by? What nourishes you most? Come back down the jaw, through the throat. You can see Nicole and I might do a little different tempo. Mm -hmm. And like your little kitty cat, nice gentle massage down the sides of the ribs, just off from the center. And keep gently cueing the energy down the front of the legs. It's a little more on the outer legs. It's the front oh, outer sorry, legs. And then down the shins. We'll Ooh, talk about it. Here, okay, yeah. there's a really nice point. One hand with four finger widths below your knee called uh, stomach 36. Let's tap that. You can use a soft fist. You can use an open hand. You can use your thumb side. We're gonna do this for about 30 more seconds. This is called three mile point. Inhaling through your nose, exhaling through an open jaw, that whoo breath. So when you feel a little tired or stagnant, you can uh, activate this point, massaging it, tapping it. It'll give you another three miles of energy. How about one more clearing breath? And then just keep tracing down the front of the shin and out that second toe. Mm -hmm. Great, let's bring that earth energy back up, right up from the earth. Inhale into your face, trace below the eyes. Exhale. And we just did. Yeah, and in, we're retracing it oh, again. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, if you're nourished by being a dog, like Nicole is, feel free to go on your own program. <laughs> program. Keep tracing down the front of the legs. We won't stop this time, and all the way up that second toe. Gather that earth energy, bring it up, and you can I see, see it. the food. Mm, chew it, think it, mm, swallow it down, get nourished by it, and then just let it go. Now, while we're down here, we'll connect it with the spleen energy. Come to your big toe, and the inside of your big toe, let's trace up the inside of your ankle the inside of your legs, all the way up to your armpit, and then just do a little triangular point down. Just your ribs, Spleen, lower ribs. Spear, right. Let's begin. Reaching down, bending down, reach for the second toe, trace, uh, sorry, the big toe, first toe, up the inside of the legs, up the ribs. Let's take one more. Dropping forward, let it go. Inhale, gather that earth energy up the spleen channel. It helps us to feel solid, stable, sturdy. 
Uh, and then let's tap tap over the screen. That's over uh, located right on the left side below your ribs. In through your nose, out and open mouth. Make that. Jake, all, I don't know if uh, you have animals at your home, uh, but we find that animals are really receptive to chi practices, chi gong energy practices. Should we say hello to the ribs? I mean to the liver? Yeah, let's go over to your right, right side. Rib. Inhale through your nose and clearing out any irritation, frustration, resentment, jealousy. Doing that who breath. Go to the lungs. Yeah, lungs. Add your smile. To the heart, to your heart. And Let's the, go blow back your kidneys. Last of the five primary yin organ meridians, the kidneys. You could alternate or simultaneously tap. And, and then let uh, that go. Pause. Maybe pause over your belly. I'm going to take a couple breaths here. Just Little notice. Dan Tian breathing, see of Chi breathing. Notice any shifts. Luxuriate the space that you're creating. You're continuing to amplify, radiate, resonate with what you most like as you feel centered. Mm. Shall we do a little spleen stretching motion? Yeah, let's bring your feet together. And this time we're going to press one hand down towards the floor and stretch the opposite hand up towards the sky. So big breath in. Stretch both hands away, flexing the fingers toward your body. And on the exhale, just let the hands pass each other, kind of spiral toward, past one another. And then lift the opposite hand up and opposite hand down. Let's alternate back and forth, inhaling through the nose, exhaling with a nice who breath, purging, letting go, balancing the earth energy. And for these next couple breaths, Maybe focus on that golden yellow light coming into your lungs, draw it in. And as you exhale, just clear away, compost anything you don't need out your breath. Visualize what would help you feel centered, what helps nourish you physically, emotionally, spiritually. Let's try this one more time, each side balancing yourself out. Slight bend in your knees as the hands come toward each other. Extend your legs as you reach, becoming a perfect even intermediary between the heavens above and the earth below. And then pausing with feet a little wider and your hands in a tri like a little uh, triangle, fingers meet, thumbs meet, and they reach overhead. Your feet together or close apart here? About shoulder width apart. Okay, and then we're gonna look through your triangle, elbows bent, and we're gonna twist the spine, bring the elbow behind you, each elbow alternately twisting behind you, reaching as far back as it can go comfortably. In through your nose, that audible who, breathy, clearing out the debris. So, this earth phase traditionally in Chinese medicine happens right at the end of summer, the beginning of fall, but actually there's a little doyo, there's a little earth phase in between every seasonal transition. One more breath. Beautiful golden light drawing those healing qualities. And then letting those arms float down by your side. So ah. a little transitional pause. Yeah, enjoying the space in between ah. each movement, feeling the benefits of your efforts circulating from the inside out, outside in. Yeah, part of being centered is locating yourself, especially in the transitions. A, a really great earth practice this week would be counting how many times you notice yourself going through a new door threshold <laughs> and just acknowledging, oh, I'm transitioning. You probably do it at home dozens of times a day. So here's a fun one. 
Do you want to do a little yellow monkey? Um, let's end that way. Let's do some oh, pebbles. Okay. I think we've we got some time. time. Okay, great. We, oh, no, maybe not. All right, yellow monkey it is. Yellow golden monkey. Golden so, monkey. Now, this is great for the kids or the kids at heart. Uh, this is called the animal frolics, and we're going to do the golden monkey. So now embody a fun, wily monkey. A playful, a playful monkey. And you are golden yellow, and we're going to inhale. We're going to lift up our monkey legs. We're going to lift up our paws. monkey paws. And as we step forward, we're going to press down and look side to side with our eyes lifted. Big wide eyes looking all around you. Inhale. And then hula. Releasing doubt, mistrust, negative talk about yourself or others. Smiling, inhale, connection, trust, openness. Let's go one more to each side. And if you happen to have a friend in the vicinity, go get their little monkey fleas out. Do a little breathing. That's better, Nicole. That feels good. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Hope you are having a laborless uh, labor day. An easy play day. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, come and join us if you want to continue to explore uh, smoothly riding the fluctuations of the seasons. We've got our autumnal seasonal virtual retreat at the end of the month. Yeah, free with your meta memberships. I see some meta members here. So yeah, I can't wait to see you then. All September right. 21. Thanks, everybody. Have a lovely, lovely evening. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> and if you'd like, I'm going to put us on the, the group view. And feel free if you want to say hello. Uh, go ahead and do so. You can unmute yourself. <laughs> and I think I can unmute you all and go for it. Yeah. Hello, goodbye. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> favorite task. What's this up? Is Mom. Hey, Mom. And Hi, Mom. <laughs> we, drove up, we drove up to Phoenix today. She's having pretty big surgery tomorrow. Okay. So, way this group, if you could send her a little meta tomorrow around one o'clock. One o'clock. And and what? Uh, I'm happy to do that. What's Mom's name, Pamela? This is Elaine. 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 You got it, Elaine. Yeah. Lots prayers of prayers and thoughts love, will be with you. Easy healing. Shh insightful guidance of all your support team absolutely thank yeah. you thank you so much yeah. thanks, thanks, thanks for Pam. making that request really appreciate you appreciate all of you holding this container so that we can buck the trend of what might be out there with all the crazy fluctuations and center ourselves mm -hmm. in communities of loving kindness so mm -hmm. thank you for paying the loving kindness forward <laughs> thank Mwah. you so much everybody Thank thanks everybody good luck elaine i want to hear how it goes bye -bye. easily bye you everybody thank you bye 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 bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>